Hello everyone and welcome back to another daily tutorial video and today I'm going to be showing you how to increase performance on FabriClient. So, step one, you want to go over to mods right here and what you want to do is click on browse 1.2 and 1.5 fabric mods and you want to download and install Sodium. There we go. And if you scroll down, here we have Sodium Extra as well. Download that too. Now that you have both of these, you want to click on play and you want to click on the settings icon and go over to allocated RAM and if you have a decent amount of RAM like anything over 8 gigs what you can do is you can increase the amount of RAM it's going to be a massive help I'm gonna increase it to 4 gigabytes and you can change your resolution as well so now you just click on play and launch the game and I'm gonna be able to show you a bunch of settings that you can change to get even more FPS out of your instance so as you can see, we're now in Fever Client, and what we can do is go into a world. I'm just going to pick, uh, pick the flat world to give us essentially a best case FPS scenario. So let's just begin just like that. I'm going to full screen the game. There we go. So we have maximum performance. So right now, without any changes, we're getting up to 500 FPS standing relatively still and 300 FPS to 400 FPS when loading new chunks. Also, do keep in mind that I am on a decent render distance of 10. You don't really want to go below this. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to be showing you a bunch of different settings. I won't mess with render distance or simulation distance, just because you want to be able to see and you want things to be loaded in a pretty big radius around you in most scenarios. Now you want to go over to quality, set everything to fast or off. So here the clouds can be turned off, so we turn them off. Smooth lighting, off. Minimal particles, leaves, fast. And you don't really want to turn off entity distance, entity shadows is fine. Apply, performance. You can increase the threads only if you have a pretty powerful CPU. So don't mess with this if you don't know what you're doing. I'll set my CPU render head limit to 2. I'll go over to animations here. You just want to disable all animations. Particles, you want to disable all particles. Details, turn everything off. Render, just keep it like this. You don't really want to mess with any of these. And you'll see at the end, the FPS has increased from 300 average to 400 average. When loading a lot of chunks, and if I fly with an elytra, we didn't really check this before. But if I fly with an elytra, so I can load as many chunks as possible. As you can see, it's still a very manageable 400 FPS. This is also while uh, recording. So yeah, it's pretty good. If I start flying upwards, we're gonna see a massive increase in FPS up to 700. And yeah. That is how to increase performance on Fabric Line. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on notifications. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.